So first I draw a line at the center so that I can cut it later. Next step, I cut it out so it will be divided into two. Next step, I remove the inner part of the ball and scrub it to make it even. After I make it even, next is I clean it out. After that, I prepared a piece of paper so that the table will not get stained. Next step is I prepared the bowl. Next step is I prepared the color that I will be using. Next is I set it aside and I place the ball so that I can start coloring it. Next is I color the outer part of the ball with blue green color. Afterwards, I let it dry for a minute. Few inches later, after I let it dry, I turn it to the other side. After that, I started coloring the inner part. So next, I choose the color yellow for nucleus and round it after. Next is, I choose red for endoplasmic reticulum. Next is, I choose green for mitochondria. Next is orange for ribosome. Afterwards, I put the parts in it. So the nucleus is a membrane-bound organelle that contains genetic material which is the DNA of eukaryotic organisms.
So the Golgai apparatus is involved in uh, packaging the protein and lipids. So next is plasma membrane or cell membrane which is uh, responsible for giving protection for the cell. So next is vesicles. So the function of the vesicles is to store and transport materials along with the cells. So next is lysosome. So a lysosome is a membrane bound cell organelle that contains digestive enzymes. So next is endoplasmic reticulum or ER. It's a large dynamic structure that serves many roles in the cell including calcium storage, protein synthesis, and lipid metabolism. So next is mitochondria or mitochondrion, membrane bound organelles. Uh, that generate most of the chemical energy needed to power the cell biochemical reactions. Next is ribosomes. So the function of ribosomes is first is to decode the message and second is uh, formation of peptide bonds. Lastly, uh, vesicle. So vesicle is consisting of fluid enclosed by a lipid bilayer.